Hello everyone. I am Dr. Sirajul Afaisi. I welcome you in my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to talk on enolic intermediates, isomerization reactions, isomerization and reagentification. So let us start learning of enolic intermediate isomerization reaction. You know isomerization and reagentation play an important part in metabolic or metabolism phenomenon. Isomerism is the reaction in which one isomer is changed into another. In biochemical reactions, these transformation takes place in two ways. First, by changing of position of double bond with the intermolecular change in the position of two hydrogen atoms and Eldo's ketose isomerism is an important example of intermolecular shifting of hydrogen atoms. For example, interconversion of dihydroxyacetone phosphate into deglyceryl dehyde 3 phosphate. And this interconversion takes place in presence of triphosphate isomerase. Similarly, the reversible reaction which takes place in presence of glucose phosphate isomerase, you can look at this. This is dihydroxyacetone phosphate, and this one deglyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. So my friend, fructose 6-phosphate or glucose 6-phosphate in this reaction in diol is the intermediate compound. Diol is the intermediate compound. Look at this. How this OH group is, OH bond will break and then breaking of this ring and then you can see and then formation of the ring and this ring is larger than this means this is six member ring and this is five member ring. So this reaction involved conversion of carbon one carbonyl group of glucose into C2 carbonyl group of fructose in the next step OH group attached to Carbon 1 of fructose is easily phosphorylized to give 1,6 diphosphate. Now, intermolecular rearrangement of functional group is comparatively less frequent in metabolic process. However, in metabolism of glucose, conversion of beta D glucose 6 phosphate into beta D glucose 1 phosphate in presence of Phosphoglucomerase is an important example of the phenomenon. In this isomerization reaction, phosphate group present on each on present on carbon six is shifted to the carbon. Look at this scheme: beta D glucose B phosphate, beta D glucose one phosphate. So pentose. Phosphate also shows different types of isomerization. Look at this example. Epimerase, ribose, ribo, those 5 phosphate to xybylose 5 phosphate. And this is the phosphoglucomerase or epimerase. So the epimerase enzyme making change in the arrangement or carbon 3 gives the epimer hence the process is known as epimerization a special type of isomerism you can see ribulose 5 phosphate in diol the structure change and then ribose 5 phosphate so see the differences of the structure so my friends i hope this video will be helpful to you if you like this video, then subscribe my channel. 
and thanks for watching.